In the video for today, I'm going to show you how you could make your Android device ring even if it is in silent mode. Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown and how are we doing today? I hope fantastic. Well, if you are not doing fantastic, you're confused, I absolutely understand that. Stick with me till the end, I promise you, you are definitely going to go away with a big smile on your face. And if you are watching my videos for the first time, consider subscribing to my channel, smash that bell notification icon and always share my content after you watch my videos because I make simple and easy videos like these related to the technology niche and all are super interesting getting confused by the end of my video please feel free to post a comment or you could even send me an email so let me dive straight in it does happen sometimes that you may have misplaced your phone in your room itself or uh, maybe in your cupboard or somewhere and your phone is in silent mode you cannot call your phone and find out where it is now that's a fix right your phone is in silent mode you cannot call your phone to understand where it is. But my video for today is going to actually help you to find your phone even if it is in silent mode. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is if you think that you cannot find your phone in your room or in your uh, cupboard or your box or whatever, you need to get onto google.com and type in Google find my device. Okay, now once you do that, Google is going to direct you to this page on which you get all the search results. Select the first option, go to the find my device web page. Okay, so for this, of course, you need a laptop or a desktop with a working internet connection. I'm sure you would have that if you have a smartphone right now once you are on this page you need to ensure one very important thing to ensure that your phone rings okay ensure that the email address that you are logged into on your phone or your Android device is the email that you are going to log in here okay so if I log into my email account which is on my phone you could see here that uh, Google find my device is going to track my phone exactly where it is. Now, if you need your phone to ring, simple and easy. Just click this option. And even if your phone is set to silent, it is going to ring for five minutes. So it's going to ring so loud <laughs> that you are going to find your phone in your room or your box or whatever. OK, and if your phone is actually misplaced, if somebody has stolen it, that is something else altogether. You would actually need to secure your device or erase data from your device. For that, you could click on secure device to actually lock your device completely so that, uh, you know, the person who has found your phone uh, cannot open your device and use the data out there. Or if you are not satisfied, you could completely format the phone by erasing the device. OK, so the main motive of my video for today is to uh, show you how you could find your phone in a room or uh, maybe if you've uh, you know, kept it in a box or a cupboard or something. OK, it's in silent mode. Use this. It's very, very helpful. I mean, I have, uh, you know, misplaced my phone in my room many times. I've used this option and it's amazing. It's instant. OK, you don't need somebody to actually call your number and all those things. All you need is a laptop or a PC along with a working internet connection and you're good to go. So remember, get to Google Find My Device, log in with the same email address which is on your Android device and once you are here, once your phone is detected on Google, you click on play sound and the phone rings. Simple and easy. I hope you found this useful and I hope I was able to provide some value to you through my video for today. If I did, please give my video a thumbs up and post a nice little comment. So this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed my short and sweet video. I will definitely come back with another interesting video. Similar to this, you take care till then. Peace out.